What's up guys, and welcome back to another episode of Castle Crushers Remastered for the Nintendo Switch. In the last episode, we went through Full Moon, and uh, went through Snow World pretty much, and nope, I, I want Bipolar Bear for this. And uh, now we're going to continue on here, and we are going to go into this icy cave, so yeah. So let's, uh, enough of my rambling, let's go... <laughs> Gosh. All right, let's go into this ice cave and see where it takes us. All right. Woo. Oh, watch out for those icicles. Just yeah, just keep moving through. It's annoying though that because the ice slows you down. So like, don't do that dash because it'll actually make you even slower and you'll get hit by those icicles. So yeah, just watch out for that. Anyway, we got another weapon right here, and it is this psh, whatever the heck this is. It's like a piece of steak or something or yeah, giant piece of meat. Um, it's actually, uh, not that bad of a weapon, yeah, but, um, I think I'm good. Alright, Ice Princess! And it's the Frost King. I will save you, Ice Princess, but hold on, guys. I'm gonna see if I can find it real quick. There's actually a hidden weapon in here. I'm gonna see if I can find it for you guys. Because, uh, there's a secret weapon in this, uh, room here. And it's, uh... It's so secret because there's no X mark that shows you where it's at. Um, the easiest way to find it is to um, use the uh, the fox pet because he'll point out. He what he does is he points out like secret um, buried uh, treasure. So yeah, I'm gonna see if I can try to find it here for you guys though, because um, it should be somewhere around here. And wow, I can't believe I just hit that door. So yeah, I'm gonna. See real quick if I can find it for you guys. Oh, I found it. All right, there we go. And it's a weapon, and it is this pretty awesome shiny ice weapon, which is pretty cool. It's not the best weapon in the game, but it's pretty useful. It does an ice attack, or it does like a frost attack, and it does plus two magic. So, yeah, it's a pretty cool weapon. It definitely fits the blue knight, so that's pretty cool. But, uh, yep, alright, so let's break down this door and continue after the Ice Princess, because we gotta save her. So, yeah, because she's actually one of my favorite princesses in the game, so, yep, we gotta save her. <laughs> alright. Now we're gonna move through this narrow section. You block the arrows. Oh, yep, I, I forgot about that. You block the arrow. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Sorry, excuse my mood, yes. Gosh, dang it. Okay, I gotta actually be quiet and listen to the the attacks. Yep. Alright, block. Jump. Jump. And then block. You gotta listen for the arrow shoot, and then the noise of the... Gosh, that was too quick right there. You gotta listen for the air arrow shooting, and the... Um, the Frost King, uh, shooting, or, yeah, shooting out his, uh, Ice Wave. You gotta listen for that so you know which, um, which, um, attack to use. Or, or, I mean, not attack, which, uh, which, um, ability or which, like, movement you use. You guys know what I mean. Which, uh, you gotta listen for which action you need to use, whether that's block or jump. So, yeah, you just gotta listen for that, guys. And, uh, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's how you get through that section. It's pretty easy, but uh, the reason why I was talking, so I wasn't really paying attention to what was going on, or I, I wasn't really listening that much for what was happening there. But it's alright, we still got through it, and now it's time to defeat the Frost King here to save the Ice Princess. So we're gonna take this guy out. Because this guy is pretty annoying, especially with his <laughs> weird laugh. He definitely has a weird laugh. So we're gonna take him out. <laughs> Funny, you're, you're dying. Alright. Okay, he's gonna yeah, pull out a bunch of ice spikes, but... Nope. He is... Yeah, we are we are taking him out. But yeah, as we damage him more, he's gonna start... Um, he's gonna make icicles start coming down on us. So yeah, we just gotta be careful of that. Just move around a lot. Best way to avoid that. Alright. Dang it. Sometimes you can't, uh... Sometimes you'll, like, miss an attack. But... It's alright. He's already almost dead. We are taking him out. 
<laughs> Excuse me. Alright, ooh, this is a good attack he's doing, but it's annoying because icicles keep coming down and I can't, like, stand still to use my electricity on him, but whatever. We're still taking him out, so yep. Still got this. I mean, uh, still doing good. And yep, his health is really low, be and now he's making the icicles come out really fast, so... Yep. Gotta keep taking him out. Oh boy. Oh jeez! Oh, Bipolar Bear's finishing him off. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, Bipolar Bear is a really cool pet to have. And there we go. Frosting has been defeated. Alright. Open up the treasure chest. It's been a while since we had one of these. It's good to collect some... some cash. Problem is, though, is that we're on an icy floor and it's really hard to move around and grab everything. We're obviously not going to get it all because, yeah, I, moving on to ice isn't really the best. Hey, we actually did get it all. Nice. It's pretty hard to move along the ice because it's so slippery and it's hard to move around. But anyway, there we go. And you're saved, Ice Princess. Yay. All right, it's been a while since we, since we got a kiss from one of the princesses. So there we go. All right, good stuff. <laughs> and we got the final arena unlocked. That's awesome. In the hub world, that is. All right, there we go. I'm gonna upgrade some more defense. It's good to have. All right, and there we go. We have unlocked the icy arena. So that's awesome. So what um what you guys unlock in the icy arena is you guys will unlock the ice camo. Uh, but obviously you have to you have to defeat all the waves of enemies in the arena as you guys saw in the King's Arena that I did So yep, this is definitely one of the hardest arenas to do because the enemies are tough and um, Yeah, it, it, it takes quite a bit of time to get through it So yeah, th there's another one of the arenas, so that's cool, but there we go guys We just got through the ice castle. So yep, that's awesome. I'm not gonna Oh man, how much time does this video have? I'm not going to go there yet, guys. That is the Wizard Castle takeoff. We are almost done with this playthrough, guys. We are getting close. But I'm actually I'm actually going to do something else. Um, you know, guys, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to show you one other arena. I'm actually... I'm going to show you guys the Thieves Arena. So, yeah. I'm going to do another arena for you guys. So, yep. Here we go. This is the Thieves Arena. Can't we just talk about this? Uh, I don't think so. Alright, so now we are fighting thieves here. So this one can be kind of annoying because the thieves are going to constantly shoot arrows at you. So yeah, best to take them out as quickly as you can. So Because they're the thieves are pretty agile. So yeah, just um, keep taking them out. Alright. I don't know if Bipolar Bear is going to be able to finish off some of the enemies for us because we, these guys are pretty weak. It's pretty easy to take them out because they're one of the, one of the first um, enemies that we fight in this game pretty much. So yeah, just keep, um, you, Red Knight's really good because you can just keep using electricity as they come out of the gate, the gates, so yeah. But once all three gates open up, it gets, it gets a lot tougher, so yeah. Yeah. You gotta do a lot of blocking and a lot of jumping if you want to avoid their their uh, arrows. So yeah, I recommend just like jumping and blocking. Best way to avoid those attacks. All right, let's keep taking out these guys as they keep coming out. Ooh, careful, man. All right, so far so good. One thing I actually wanted to mention before, guys, is, um, sorry that, uh, Chloe isn't here, um, to continue doing a co-op for this playthrough. Um, she, she um, she, w she would really want to. The problem is, is that we couldn't get, get it, we couldn't get her to use her, uh, her own profile together, uh, playing together. So, yeah, sorry that we, we can't, uh, can finish this playthrough off doing co-op, guys. I wish, I wish we could, but, um... Yeah, it's kind of a bummer, but it's alright, guys. Uh, she she's um she'll be happy that um I actually I talked to her about it and um she's actually happy that uh um I'm almost done with this playthrough and uh, I'm pretty excited to be done with this playthrough pretty soon too, guys. Cause um there's some other games I do want to play for you guys and I really hope that I 
get a, uh, get more free time to be able to post more content for you guys. Because that is one of my New Year's resolutions for uh, 2020 is to upload more videos for you guys. So yeah, that's what I'm hoping. So I'm going to do my best on it. But anyway, there we go. We have defeated all the thieves and I'm going to do a little dance. All right, nice. And we have unlocked the thief. So that's awesome. All right. That's pretty cool. All right. I think um I think it's nice that th this episode might be a little bit shorter and sweeter. I mean, it's not going to be that short, but um it, a little bit shorter than uh, some of the other ones. So yeah. Just wanted to show you guys one of the other arenas. So yeah, that was pretty cool. What I'm actually going to do real quick is I'm actually going to get a new pet. Um, Bipolar Bear is a cool pet, but there's actually one pet I want to use that I love to use a lot. Um, and that is Giraffe. Giraffe is one of my favorite pets to use. And you know what, guys? Since I'm here in the blacksmith, I'm going to actually go ahead and show you guys that um, that uh, secret in the pet store real quick. I guess like while I have more time on this video. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the key weapon to show you guys a um, secret in the pet store. Alright. So what you guys pretty much have to do here is you have to walk all the way to the back of the pet store. And as you can see you guys there's this locked door right here. You just whack the key door. The door will open and you go through it and you will unlock this interesting pet right here. And yeah it's a pretty freaky looking pet but it's a pretty useful pet uh he increases your magic so that's nice so yeah now now we have that pet unlocked so that's cool but uh, i'm gonna stick with giraffe obviously because giraffe is one of my favorite pets so yeah guys there's that little um secret with the key weapon so that's awesome yep giraffe helps you level up faster that's why he's one of the best pets to use in the game so that's awesome all right guys we have successfully um gotten the pet i wanted and i picked up another weapon you guys will see it in the next episode so that's gonna wrap it up for this episode so thank you guys so much for watching give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next episode where we go to the wizard castle takeoff thanks for watching guys